Hello everyone, welcome to this course in neuroscience. We are going to explore together the nature of the brain. In this first episode, we are going to learn about the content of this course. First, we are going to know about what exactly is neuroscience. And then, we will take a look at what we will learn in this course. So, what is neuroscience? Neuroscience is the study of the nervous system, its functions, and its disorders. Some key questions of interest are, how does the nervous system function? How does it give rise to thought and behavior? And what are the underlying mechanisms of neurological diseases? And how can we find treatments or cures? Neuroscience is a multidisciplinary field that combines biology, chemistry, physics, mathematical modeling, computer science, and many, many other fields. Speaking of which, Neuroscience itself is a broad field that has many levels and fields of studies. From the microscopic to macroscopic levels, we have molecular neuroscience, cellular neuroscience, and cognitive and behavioral neuroscience. From the aspect of diseases and disorders, we have neurology and clinical neuroscience. From the aspect of methods of research, we have computational neuroscience, neurochemistry, neurophysics, neuroimaging, and much more. In this course, we are first going to have an overview of general neuroscience. This includes the course overview in this episode. And then we are going to dive into the world of cells. We will learn what are neurons and glia, and then take a look at membrane potentials, including resting membrane potential and action potential. Then we will learn about synaptic transmission and the role of neurotransmitters. After that, we will be prepared to take a look at the development of the nervous system and then have an overview of neuroanatomy. This will prepare us for the later studies. After that, we will enter a big part about senses, perception, and motor control. These are some of the more basic functions of the nervous system. After that, we will learn about how the nervous system keeps us alive through the autonomous nervous system, homeostasis, and rhythms and sleep. Then finally, we will come upon some of the higher cognitive functions, including emotion, memory and learning, language, attention, consciousness, and other cognitive functions. And at the end, we will learn about some research techniques and methods that are used in neuroscience research. Then we will have two specific parts, one about neuroanatomy and the other about clinical conditions. In neuroanatomy, we will learn about the different parts of the nervous system, including the telencephalon, the diencephalon, the brainstem, the cerebellum, the spinal cord, and the blood supply and the ventricular system and meninges. As for clinical conditions, we will first have an overview of all the clinical conditions their symptoms, diagnosis, and treatment methods. Then we will look at different types of clinical conditions, including genetic and developmental disorders, neurodegenerative diseases, muscle-related diseases, psychiatric disorders, specific injuries, infection, injury, and other conditions, and finally, substance abuse. That's all for this overview episode. See you again in the next episode.